Dear Jess, today Pete's Pans revisits one of the first dishes ever made for the channel. A delightful rice dish with chicken, arroz de pollo, or since this is Catalunya, arroz de pollastra from La Cuina Catalana by the master Josep Yadonosa. Now crossing the border into Catalunya from France, most traffic has to pass through La Jonquera, an ugly commercial zone catering mostly to French shoppers who cross in drones for low-cost supplies, booze and cigarettes. Hmm, maybe not. They also come for other reasons. The town's name has become synonymous with prostitution. La Jonquera also serves as a massive truck stop, and today I'm setting up my kitchen right amongst them, enabling me to get a, a feel for life as a trucker. Not much different from my own by the looks of things. A quick spin around the simple ingredients. Short-grained Spanish rice, a couple of small chicken legs. For the sofregite, the concentrated flavorful vegetable base, we need tomatoes, onion, green pepper and garlic. I'll be grating these tomatoes, but pulp from a jar is perfectly fine. Chicken stock and peas, so you see it couldn't be simpler. A dish I've cooked many, many times for Spanish people, and I'm yet to receive a complaint. The chicken pieces are chopped up, not too small, and browned in oil, and lots of it, enough to easily cover the bottom of the paella pan. Though be warned, never refer to, to this dish as a paella, at least not to the people from Valencia, who can be touchy and protective, as according to them, the specific ones from Valencia are the only ones worthy of being referred to as paella. In the rest of Spain, rice dishes are simply referred to as rice with whatever the main ingredients are. Season the piece as well as they fry, and if available, a drop of refreshing Catalan moscatel for the cook. Sweet and delicious. Now the sofregit, or the sofrito in Spanish, is prepared. Allow the finely chopped onion to cook down very gently, along with the green pepper. Really take your time here, as we actually want the mixture to darken. We're talking a good 20 minutes over low heat, with plenty of stirring. With five minutes to go, add the garlic. Add the tomato and keep going in the same manner until super concentrated once again. Yes, well spotted. Rain stopped play, so I've ended up a few minutes down the road in a nice, quiet country spot to finish the sofrito. In order to prolong the cooking, a splash of water can be added from time to time, and this will also prevent any burning on the bottom of the pan. See how it's now really well reduced and dark, ready to receive the meat, which is stirred around for a few minutes. 100 grams per person of rice is the standard measure. 100 grams is roughly a, a large fistful. Now the rice is given a stir for a minute or two. and the boiling stock is poured over. Check the broth for seasoning, keeping it at a strong boil for 10 minutes.
add your peas early on if large, or wait until later if using the baby Petit Pois variety. Use your own judgment on this. After 10 minutes at a rolling boil, the heat is turned down a notch to a gentler boil for a further six minutes of cooking, so 16 minutes in total. Do keep an eye on the time as, as overcooking the rice is a fatal mistake. As usual with Spanish rice dishes, cover and let it rest five minutes before serving. You'll notice that the rice here has a thin, tasty, toasted layer on the bottom of the pan known as socarrat, and this is most desirable and some say quite an art to achieve. As long as you give the pan full heat and don't overdo the stock, you should be able to produce this with ease. So what a divine, simple and authentic way to cook rice. Absolute heaven. Please reward me with a like if you're inspired to try this Arroz de Pollastra and do subscribe in order to keep up to date with my efforts to catalogue all the regional continental classics from my travels through France, Spain and Portugal. Venga, un abrazo. Hasta pronto.